All right, here is my video on how to navigate Pro Tools. The first thing that we're going to do is we are going to open up Pro Tools to start the session. All right, next thing we're going to do is we are going to name this assignment. It's going to local storage, 48 Hertz and prompt for location, we're going to create that. Go to the desktop, save. All right, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to hit Control Shift I and import a downloaded audio file. We're going to click it and copy it into here. Done. And it's going into a new track. All right. Um, now that it's in, first shortcut that we are going to do is the toggle shortcut, which pulls up the mixing window. Um, the next thing that I'm going to demonstrate is the difference between slip and shift. With slip, everything will, uh, it'll move wherever you move it with the dragger, but with shuffle, it will always be flush right. And no matter what, if you cut it, if you do anything, all of the clips will always flush right. Next thing I'm going to demonstrate is the smart tool, which is when all of these three are highlighted. It'll give you access to the grabber, which will allow you to move the audio clip. Um, the selector tool, which will let you select specific parts of the audio, and the trim tool, which will allow you to take the end or the beginning off of an audio file. The next smart tool thing that we're going to show off is the fade in and the fade out, which is done by grabbing either the top left or the top right. Um, that basically just adds in a slow fade in or a fade out over however long you want it to be. Um, next thing I'm going to show is a crossfade, which is when two audio clips are right next to each other, you can have one of them fade out as the other one fades in. And that is what's known as a crossfade. I did that by using another shortcut, which is the separate audio shortcut. It basically just takes one whole uh, clip of audio and splits it apart. Now, if you want to change that back, you can do so by hitting Control and Z. It'll just undo anything that you don't want to do. Um, the next shortcut that we have is Control S, which is the save shortcut. If you want to zoom in and out horizontally, that is the control brackets, uh, either one of them will zoom, or the right one will zoom in, the left one will zoom out. And if you want to reset that, you can hit Alt A, and it will reset it right back to the way that it was. Um, the last thing that we're going to show is how to bounce the file, which is Control Alt B. Uh, you can bounce it, and we're just going to send that right to assignment one. Um, and select that and bounce. And that will bounce this whole audio file right there. All right, thank you.